Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, Leveraging 360 Suite to Better Manage SAP BI Environment. I am Megan Souza, Marketing Manager here with Dunn Solutions Group. Before we get started, I would like to go over a few items. This session will be recorded, and we will send out a link to the recording to everyone who registered within 24 to 48 hours after the presentation. We also have recordings of all previous webinars on our website in the event that you missed any in the past at dunsolutions.com. Also, if you have any questions during today's presentation, we encourage you to submit them and we'll address as many as we have time for at the end of the presentation. If the question is somewhat complex and we need more time, we do promise to follow up with you on those. Additionally, we have a guest panelist who's joined us today from GBN Smith, Christoph Ochin, who is an engineer with GBN Smith. Um, and he will be here to help today assist in any questions that you may have after the presentation as well. If you'd like to say hello, Christoph. Yeah, hello everyone. We have the <laughs> blast office, and uh, yeah, we are pleased to 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 work with the solution to help a better use business subject. Fantastic, thank you, Christoph. I will begin by doing introductions to Dunn Solutions Group. From there, I'll turn over to today's presenter, Natasha Kijanewski, our analytics manager here at Dunn Solutions. If you'd like to say hello, Natasha. Hello, everyone. Fantastic. Today, Natasha will discuss um, a 360 suite overview. She will then go into a demonstration and then tell you about the next steps that you could take using 360 suite. After that, we will take any questions that you have. Dunn Solutions has a long history of delivering innovative business technology solutions to companies. We are headquartered just outside of Chicago and have offices in Minneapolis, Raleigh, and Bangalore, India. Our offerings fall into two practice areas. Our application development solutions feature portals, e-commerce, and content-managed websites, mobile application development, and custom application development. Our analytic solutions feature analytics and BI platforms, as well as data warehouses and data integration. We are an authorized SAP and library training provider and, also, and offer classroom, virtual, private, and custom options. We do believe training is important because once we deliver a solution, we want to make sure that those who need it know how to use it and maintain it. Our clients, some of which are listed here, are a combination of Fortune 500, mid-market companies, government agencies, and nonprofits across all verticals. About 80% of our business is commercial clients, and 20% are nonprofit and government. We maintain strong partnerships with top, te top technology companies in order to offer our clients the most innovative solutions available today. Our analytics practice helps deliver information to decision makers throughout your organization so that it runs better. We can help with decision making by not only looking into the rear view mirror, but also looking forward into the future by leveraging predictive analytics and data mining techniques. We are an SAP Gold Partner and have been a top-level partner for nearly 20 years. As an SAP authorized training partner, we help companies nationwide maxi maximize their technology investments and offer public, private, virtual, and custom courses. Our public classrooms are located in Minneapolis and Raleigh. Please contact, contact us for any SAP training needs you may have. We offer a global delivery model that gives us the flexibility to build teams that are best suited to our clients' timelines, budgets, and preferences. Projects that utilize offshore resources are always led by someone local and US-based. Thank you for allowing me to introduce you to Den Solutions. I will now, now hand over the presentation to Natasha. Welcome, Natasha. Thanks, Megan. Uh, good morning again, everyone. Um, my name is Natasha Kishinevsky. I'm a manager in our analytics practice I, I've been working with uh, the SAP platform for uh, just shy of 10 years now, and um, one, of, one of my responsibilities, uh, whether it's for a client or internally here, is to be the, the Bob J administrator. This is why um, 360 Suite is very close to me, because uh, it actually helps me do my job, and uh, I, I love being the advocate for this tool, because um, hopefully I can share my uh, experiences with everyone on the webinar today, and how it made my life easier, uh, a lot easier in the past couple of years. All right, so um, as Megan mentioned, we'll start with an overview of the 360 Suite. Uh, we'll dive into a demonstration, and we'll discuss how you can leverage 360 Suite in your organization. 
and then we'll hopefully leave some time for a Q&A session. All right. Um, a lot of us have had the task of administering the SAP BI platform, whether it's adding new users and then signing security, or troubleshooting failed jobs, or monitoring the resource usage, or even making sure that we're in compliance with SAP license agreements. All these are common tasks for Bob J administrators. Those tasks at time can be cumbersome with the central management console. The processes are time consuming and at times confusing. I often hear from other Bob J administrators, I know what I need to do, I just wish the how was not as convoluted. 360 Suite is an ideal partner to your SAP BI deployment. It provides you with an easy to use interface to administer the platform. So if you have an SAP BI deployment, 360 Suite is for you. If you plan to upgrade your uh, SAP Business Objects platform to the latest version of SAP BI, 360 Suite is definitely for you. And if you're looking for a more robust way of managing your SAP BI platform, 360 Suite is definitely for you. Uh, it is an easy to install software which is deployed on any of your BobJ servers and comes with a variety of administration features. It has, uh, it's a browser-based uh, application and has its own URL which you can customize. Now let's take a look at some of the benefits of having 360 Suite. All right, uh, let's discuss those. Um, as you'll see in the demonstration, you can connect to all of your ABABJ environments from a single portal. This allows you uh, to compare content and security between the, the, the multiple environments easily. It comes in very handy when you have a dev, QA, and production uh, model deployed. So single point of entry to manage all of your SAP BI deployments is one of the top benefits um, of having 360 Suite. Streamlined security administration. Um, another thing that's very common for administrators to take care of and at times can be very painful to do with the central management console. With 360, you can create a security matrix and assign rights to all required user groups to all required objects at once. So it's a more streamlined process because you can also visualize platform security very easily uh, as opposed to what you're doing in central management console where you set the right individuals to, to individual groups for individual objects. Here you can actually pick multiple objects, multiple groups, and set the security that way. Next on our list is the recycle bin, the one thing that everyone on the platform can benefit from. It's important to note here that the latest SAP BI release, 4.2, will also include a recycle bin. However, this will only help you with public documents. The recycle bin in 360 Suite works for public and personal documents, and you don't have to wait for 4.2 to be released. You can start taking advantage of that now. Uh, basically, what it helps you with is if any user deletes a document from their personal folder or from a public folder, the administrator can restore those deleted documents very easily. Another tremendous benefit is that 360 Suite will make your migration processes easier. If, you are, if, you, if a migration to the latest version of SAP BI is on your list of things to do uh, this quarter, or this year, or uh, any time in the near future, you can certainly benefit from 360 Suite because it will help you streamline your migration efforts. Uh, with 360 Suite, you can easily pinpoint any content that was not migrated successfully. We know that migrations sometimes have corrupted uh, connections or, or things that get kind of uh, out of line. You can, you can easily point those out and fix them. You can find uh, broken links, broken connections, and other migration issues. You can compare the output of reports and pinpoint the problems testing becomes more of a streamlined and automated process. All right, um, the, the 360 suite is made up of five major components, uh, each with its own set of features. The 360 view is used to manage platform security. We will see this component in action in our demonstration today. 360 plus allows you to create and schedule backups and also promote content between all of your BobJ environments. We'll take a look at this component today as well. You'll see how much easier it is to use that component as opposed to the upgrade management tool or lifecycle manager in the SAP BI platform. 360 CAST is responsible for report distribution, which includes scheduling, bursting, and also personalizing the distribution of reports. 360 Eyes and 360 Eyes compliance are used for exploring metadata, auditing, and ensuring compliance with SAP licensing agreements. We will look at some of these features, some of the features of the 360 eyes uh, today as well. Uh, lastly, 360 bind is what helps us compare report outputs between different environments and conduct non-regression type testing. Let's talk about some of the top features of the 360 suite. We have selected a few of our favorites. 
I have to mention here, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Not all features are listed here. The point I want to emphasize here as we look through these, uh, these different features is that most of these features are available and those tasks can be performed directly within the central management console that comes with the SAP platform. However, 360 Suite makes it easy to perform all those tasks. Some features are just not available uh, out of the box with the SAP BI platform. Things like documenting your uh, uh, settings and, and security matrices and things like that, you can easily document all of the metadata, all of the settings from your platform. In the past, um, and I know this because I, I used to manage uh, a lot of the platforms, a lot of the SAP BI platforms. In the past, we had to manually create the document uh, that would outline all the configuration settings and everything, um, all the security settings and things like that in the platform. Uh, with 360 Suite, documentation engine makes it easy for you to do so automa automatically. Uh, scheduling backups was also not something that was easily done in the SAP BI platform. You almost had to do uh, something with a third-party scheduler to do something like that. Uh, scheduling backups is an is a uh, out-of-the-box feature for the 360 suite and can be done very easily. Uh, as you'll see in my demonstration today, restoring is also very uh, granular. Uh, in the past, restoring to restore a document from its archive, you would have to parse through the entire archive file to, uh, to find the document that you wish to restore. With 360 Suite, you selectively pinpoint documents to restore, and you can restore a single document um, from any version, from any backup that you have in the system. Uh, promotion of content is another thing that's a lot easier done with, uh, is done very, uh, more of a streamlined process with 360 Suite. Because you can connect to multiple central management uh, environments, from your 360 suite, you can actually drag and drop objects from one environment to another without having to use the lifecycle manager, which is error prone and um, cumbersome. All right, so um, let's dive into the demonstration. So the first thing that I wanted to demonstrate in the presentation today is probably one of the most frequent tasks for the administrators of the Bob J platform, uh, security. Uh, in the demonstration today, we'll see how easy it is to import users from an external source. In, in our demonstration, we'll use Excel. Uh, then we'll see how to create a security matrix directly on the platform. All right, so let me switch over to my browser here. All right, so the login screen is very straightforward. It connects to, uh, you, you basically have to specify the CMS that you're connecting to, and you log in as your uh, Bob J administrator here. And looks like my screen got frozen. Let me just refresh it. All right, so you can see here on the screen that um, the interface is very user-friendly, very straightforward. You have a lot of tabs going across the top. Each tab is responsible for a set of features. Uh, the thing I like about 360 Suite is that I never have to worry about uh, if I'm going to use 360 Bind or 360 Cast. I simply have to navigate to the features that I want. If I want to administer security, I will navigate to security. If I want to conduct some auditing and uh, export the results of my auditing, I can navigate to auditing. If I want to compare multiple environments, I'll navigate to comparison here. Uh, one of the things that I also want to point out here is one of my one of the benefits I listed was the fact that we can actually connect to multiple environments at the same time from the same point of entry. So here I'm already connected to my dev environment, but I, in addition to that, I want, also want to connect to my education server. And I will log in. The cool thing here is that you can actually uh, make it in a different color so that when it connects, the connection will show up in a different color so that we're not confused between the different environments. So let's go ahead and log on. You can see here at the bottom, here's my other environment here. If I want to save it for further use, I'm going to go ahead and save the password. And now both environments show up basically next to each other here. So I can administer one or the other. I can select one or the other to, to administer. 
And if I decide, okay, later on, maybe I don't need this environment here anymore, I can delete it from here, remove, remove this record. So this is a really, again, from just from the start, we, you can see that you don't have to log into a, another CMC to manage the other environment. You can do everything directly from the same platform. All right. So let's go ahead and log into security, go to security. The security can be administered on folders, inboxes, objects, universes, and other components, all the components that you can administer security on in the SAP BI platform. However, here it's done a lot easier. Before I dive into uh, the security matrix itself, I want to add some users to the platform. In addition to the ones we already have, I'm actually going to import some users from an Excel spreadsheet. All right, so let's go ahead and import users. And my, uh, my Excel spreadsheet is ready, but um, some of you might wonder, how did I know what my Excel spreadsheet should look like? You, you have a template here that you can use to fill out your, your Excel spreadsheet. Before I do this, let me actually show you what my Excel spreadsheet looks like. I only have a few users here. So we can see that um, when I'm importing users into the platform, I have to specify what group they belong to, what is going to be their account name, if there are any aliases, uh, what kind of an account is it going to be. And those of you who have administered uh, BobJ platforms, you know that you can have AD authentication, uh, you can have LDAP authentication or enterprise. So here is where you basically specify if those users are belong to uh, specific um, authentication methodologies. And the rest of the parameters here, I basically um, retrieve them from the platform and fill them out uh, to import those users. Let's go back here. I'm going to point to this document. All right, so let's go ahead and import these users in here. Now, this is also the point where, in addition to making this, uh, these users part of the everyone group, I can also assign them to other groups on the platform. All right, so let's go ahead and import. And now you can see these users actually already exist. I must have been preparing for this demo and didn't delete them. That's a good point, actually. Let's go ahead and um, look at our users. Now I can actually show you how easy it is to delete users from the system as well. So I actually want to go ahead and do this. And if we try this again, all right, so I did delete one of the users or two of the users and um, they've been added to our platform now. All right, so this comes in very handy when you have uh, an external source where, um, where you have a list of users with, along with the properties that belong to those users. And you can Im import those um, and you can schedule those imports here as well. All right, now that I have some of the users imported into the platform, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our security matrix. So if I navigate to security, what I can do here is I can select the different objects and um, um, look at the matrix for those particular objects. All right, so let's take a look at some of the folders here. One of the things that I'm going to specify is, let's find our report authors group. We'll actually include all the subgroups here. And you can see it's building the matrix at the bottom of my screen here. Now, what folders do we want to grant rights to, to those users? Let's pick the demonstrations folder here and all the subfolders. I'll pick some of the subfolders underneath. Let's do custom demos. and e-fashion demonstrations. If I scroll down here, you can see that the matrix is being built as I'm picking the objects that I need to uh, administer security for. This is very convenient because now I can pick the specific folder and a specific user group 
and administer the rights for that specific scenario in my matrix. So even though right now this group uh, and this folder inherits the rights from the parent folder and the parent group, I can overwrite that and say I want to give them view rights to this folder. So now the DSG demo users only have view rights to custom demos, even though uh, inheritance uh, was, was in place before. So the good thing about the, the way the 360 suite allows you to manage security is you can easily visualize all the different access points for the different user groups. The user groups are listed here across the top. All the folders that I've selected are, are listed here across, um, uh, you know, vertically. So I can actually find the intersection that I want to modify as opposed to going into each group individually, each folder individually, and setting up the rights. So we can also, for the DSG report authors, I'm going to change this whole control to view, and I'm going to uncheck the inheritance and modify. Those of you who have ever had to manage security on the platform, you'll see this huge difference because in the past, uh, this was all done individually at the object level, at the group level. Here, I'm selecting multiple folders. If I wanted to, I could select all the folders that I have on the platform and administer security to all of those folders at once. All right, so let's switch back to my slides here. So now that we've seen how to do that, let's recap. In the regular SAP uh, administration tool, this process is done for each group and for each folder individually. Here, we're able to apply security privileges to multiple user groups and multiple folders at the same time. Just think about how much time this would actually save you. All right, now let's take a look at some uh, items that involve um, enterprise level housekeeping. Uh, we'll take a look at some audits and we'll take a look at how we can clean up our environment. Um, there are times when you need to pinpoint problem areas. Broken reports, broken connections, universes that don't have connections, users um, that have been disabled but have not been deleted, uh, things that are orphaned on the platform. Uh, this is all very easy to do with a 360 suite. Uh, what's even more important is that you can export the audit results and document them for maintenance purposes. Now, it's important to point out here that this doesn't just cover broken things. You can also use this feature to document relationships on the platform. For example, you can document how many reports are pointing to a certain universe. If you've ever tried doing that in CMC, you know that um, you, can, you have to pretty much click on each universe or on each report to check the relationships. This is done on an individual level, not for all objects on the platform. Another equally important thing you can do here is uh, you can clean up the sessions. You can purge user inboxes. You can purge. Uh, you can clean up the, set, the active sessions, uh, delete document instances, all those things that um, are available for you in CMC but are difficult to do. All right, let me switch over again to my browser. And we'll navigate to our audit panel here. All right, so here's a list of different things that you can do with auditing. Uh, you can easily pinpoint some of the things that should be cleaned up, like empty folders, for example. Um, empty folders will basically demonstrate the, 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 uh, the nested folders that, are, that don't have any content in them at all. So you actually have to navigate to the specific folders if you wanted to delete them. You can also find empty user groups. So user groups that don't have any users attached to them, uh, it's probably something that was there originally and we never deleted them. We should delete them. So actually, as I've been going through this and maintaining my internal environment, this has been a great help to me. I've, I've managed to clean up a lot of things from here, deleted all document instances, uh, deleted some unused documents, uh, purged inboxes. You know that users typically leave um, documents in their inboxes for a really long time, and it takes up resources on your on your environment. So it's um, it takes up space too. So you actually have to uh, purge those inboxes, make sure that you delete the the objects from there. Now the the thing I also mentioned was documenting uh, the audit results. You can easily document how many reports per universe um, you have in your platform. So let's go ahead and uh, try that. And we can export that result set to Excel. All right, 
All right, so let's go ahead and open this. All right, so as we, let me kind of zoom out of here so we can see it better. So you can actually tell uh, that it finds universes for you. It gives you the path where the universe resides and shows you all the reports that are pointing to that particular universe. I got to tell you that when I saw this, this was kind of the one of the major selling points for me because I had to, uh, in the past, had to document this individually and all had to be done manually. Now with this tool, I'm able to actually see the relationships between my reports and my uh, universes. This helps me with the impact analysis, definitely. I'll know that if I make a change to this time and billing universe, for example, all these reports could potentially be affected. So this is a really good way for me to, um, to document my environment for maintenance purposes later on for impact analysis and whatnot. All right, let's go back to the audit here. Um, and just to mention again, this is also very important, cleaning and purging of inboxes, cleaning uh, the, uh, the document instances. Nobody ever cleans up document instances, and it does take up space. It does take up resources. So we have to take advantage of this. Uh, fr from this tool, it's a lot easier to do than from Central Management Console. All right. All right, so after we've seen the, the auditing, let's review what we've just seen. Um, now, I have to mention that I've only reviewed a few of the audit possibilities, just the ones that I thought were uh, extremely helpful to me as I'm administering my BI uh, environment here. There's plenty more that the 360 suite contains. Um, this feature is definitely something that made my life easier, and my favorite thing is that I don't have to create documentation manually anymore. Uh, I don't have to click on each report to find out which universe it uses as a source. I can do this directly from 360. So the, the repeating theme here, as you've seen in security and as you're seeing in audit, is that um, it's effectiveness. It's, it's, ma it's making the use of it's making effective use of my time as an administrator. Uh, I don't have to individually uh, go into each folder or each object and set up the, the configuration there. I can do it for multiple objects at the same time. Um, and, and it makes it easier for me to maintain the, you know, the, uh, the BI platform going forward. All right, um, next up we have the recycle bin. And it is my favorite feature. I wanted to make sure everybody's aware. Um, it's because in the past I remember uh, uh, getting uh, phone calls from users who were desperate and, and basically saying, you know what, I accidentally deleted a document I shouldn't have. And, uh, it was in my personal folder, and now I can't recover it. And I'm hoping that you, you're the administrator, can you recover this document for me? And I remember just feeling completely helpless because there was really no way to do that. Um, yeah, I, I'm sure that you've gotten those calls as well as, as being uh, Bob J administrators. 360 Suite does have a recycle bin that allows you to restore documents back to any recent backups easily. Um, and you can actually ex you can restore back to a particular version of a document. All right, and you can do this for both public folders and personal documents as well. So let me switch back to my browser now. And what we'll go through is we'll actually see how that works. So I'm going to navigate to one of my folders here and go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and delete a document. So let's uh, delete this breakers demo document. All right, it's no longer here. Now, moment of truth, we're going to navigate to our recycle bin. And I remember the document had the, the I don't remember the full name, but I remember there was the word breakers in there. So I'm going to go, and go ahead and search for that. All right, so in my recycle bin, it found one document with that name. And now what I can do is I can, I can restore it back to um, the last time it had a backup. So what happens in the background is basically you have your backups running on a regular on a regular recurring basis, and those backups are you can access them from your recycle bin. This is the same option that uh, the last the next uh, release of SAP BI platform will have. Um, so it really does rely on the fact that you have backups ongoing and scheduled. And if I had more backups, I would I would be able to select from a variety of different. Um, points in time here. So let me go ahead and restore this one. 
some of the options here include, do you, do you actually want to restore everything with that document? Do you want to restore document instances and restore document recurring instances? And you can choose uh, whichever meets your requirements. Right now, I don't have any recurring instances connected to this object, so I'm just going to go ahead and restore the object itself. The document has been restored. So now if I navigate again to my DSG demonstrations, the document is back. All right, so very easy to do. Hopefully I managed to demonstrate how easy it is to, to use the recycle bin here. Uh, I do have to point out that it does uh, matter that you have um, recurring backups in your environment. All right, let's see what, what, what do we have next. We have um, backups and restores. So let's review the 360 Suite's capabilities when it comes to performing backups and restores. Uh, the main thing that, I, that um, makes this process easier with 360 is how granular this process can be. You can manipulate what gets backed up and how frequently. You can schedule those backups. You can then in restore individual documents without having to parse through the entire archive file to find what you need to restore. So those of you who have massive deployments, uh, I've worked with uh, deployments that have thousands of reports, tens of thousands of reports, you know that if you need to restore a, a particular report back to its original version or back to you know, uh, a particular uh, point in time, you have to actually parse through the entire archive to find that document, and that, that, are, that parsing sometimes takes hours. So that's a very inconvenient way to actually perform this task. Uh, moreover, with uh, the central management, with the lifecycle manager, you can't really schedule the backups very easily. So um, with, uh, with the 360 suite, it adds all these features for you. Uh, the other thing that you can also take advantage of is that um, you can use enterprise job scheduler, any third-party um, job scheduler that you currently use, you can use that to schedule your backups as well. So if you have a process ongoing already, you can include um, the Bob J backups in that process all, uh, as well. All right, and when you're scheduling a backup, you start with a full backup and it's followed by incremental backups. Uh, you can choose the frequency, and you'll see that in my demonstration here. You can choose the frequency of how often do you want to repeat those backups, and this really depends on how often does the uh, contents of your environment change. All right, let's take a look at that. So we'll navigate to our scheduling tab, um, and I will go ahead and uh, schedule a backup. So you can see that I've had some backups um, occurring here on my platform already. So I'm going to go ahead and um, create a new one. All right, and here I have the option to start selecting the artifacts that I want to back up. I can click on these user groups and actually select a couple of user groups to, to back up. Let's do these few, add them in. All right, and um, pick up some universes as well. I'm not going to do the massive platform backup here, but I'm going to just walk you through some of the parameters here. So I'm going to add the universes here as well. And you can see that it's a step-by-step -step process. And one of the things that if you've done backups with Lifecycle Manager before, you know that um, when you, it has to create the inventory of everything you have on the platform before you can even select what you need to back up. This all takes time. Here, I'm already selecting the objects that I need, uh, that I need to back up. Okay. Now, I can also look at the frequency. So you can see here that the, uh, the backups can run uh, once, every number of hours, every number of days, every number of weeks, every number of months. So depending on how frequently your uh, environment undergoes changes, you would want to set up those, uh, those backups accordingly. For production, probably more frequently than uh, for development, just to make sure you capture everything that the users do with their ad hoc analysis and, and, and other things. All right, you also have the ability to select how many max backups do you want to have. If you are planning to do incremental backups on an hourly basis, it's always a good idea to limit the number of those backups because they will take up space, they will take up resources, so you don't want to make, you don't want to have backups running continuously and not archiving the old versions 
you want to make sure that you archive the old versions um, as well. You can also choose to back up personal folders and inboxes. Sometimes that's beneficial for your users, especially in the production environment. All right, and that's, uh, that's really all that you have to do. I'm going to go ahead and schedule this backup. It's going to run in the background. Um, it's pending right now. All right, now the, the other very important thing with backups and restores is actually the process of restoring a document. So let's, um, let's take a look here. Let's see if I can restore. So if, if there is a particular document that you want to restore, it, it works very similar to the recycle bin. Uh, you find the document that you need to restore, and then you pinpoint which version of that document do you want to restore it back to. So if I had multiple backups that, that involved this particular document, I would have multiple backups listed here, and I could pick from multiple versions of, of the document here. Um, so this, is very, this comes in very handy when you don't need to restore the whole environment. You just need to restore a couple of documents. And the, the whole process takes seconds versus hours waiting for the archive to, to be parsed. And you have options here, just like with the recycle bin restore, whether or not you want to replace the object, duplicate the object, only restore the instances, which is also something that you cannot do with, uh, with directly out of the box with the platform. All right, so this is a, this, these are very uh, important features here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, replace the object, uh, actually restore the instances only, and we'll import. All right, let me go back to my slides here so we can recap. Um, now we've seen how easy it is to manage backup and restore processes on the BobJ platform. And this actually concludes the demonstration portion of my presentation, but I do have a few more uh, features that I wanted to discuss. So there's going to be a few more slides uh, before we get to the Q&A session. All right, so one of the things that's uh, also very important with a, the with a platform is, um, with a 360 suite, is the ability to compare content between environments. So you did see that I was able to log into multiple environments at the same time. Um, you can compare the content and report outputs from one environment to another. So the outputs of reports can be compared, and it's, uh, it creates a pixel-perfect comparison, basically. It, it doesn't just look at the report names and report metadata but it actually looks at the report data and um, compares the layout and the charts and graphs inside that report between the different environments and pinpoints the problem areas. You can see in my screenshot here that there's a bunch of problem areas that it found um, that miss, there are mismatches between the two environments. This comes in very handy when you're promoting content between dev, prod, dev test and prod because you want to make sure that uh, you're keeping the accuracy uh, intact. It also comes in very handy when you're migrating reports uh, or upgrading reports from your previous versions of the uh, BobJ platform to the SAP BI platform. Uh, it makes the process of testing reports after migrations uh, a lot easier, a lot more streamlined, automated. You don't have to actually go in and open each report and uh, manually compare uh, the outputs of reports. And you can actually schedule this process on the, on the, uh, in the 360 suite. All right, so um, the other thing I wanted to, to mention here in my presentation is uh, 360 Suite allows you to effectively manage system resources. And the way that it does that is by providing you with a lot of uh, documentation on the platform. Um, you can easily pinpoint the documents that were the last documents in use. And as you can see from my screenshot here, there's a bunch of documents in my platform that have had no action um, for, for a while. So what if we why are we keeping those documents there? We, we need to delete them. So this is, this is a very helpful feature on the platform that you can actually use to clean up your environment, make sure that you're using all the space correctly and um, effectively. Uh, this feature expands on the auditing capabilities of the 360 suite and lets you ensure that you're effectively utilizing system resources. See which documents are not used, which documents are rarely used, which objects are rarely used, you can also see um, the variables and, and objects in the reports that are barely used or in the universes that are barely used. 
And the other thing that you can do with the, with the 360 suite very easily is that um, you can, using the smart view of your BO license usage, uh, you can figure out if you actually need all the licenses that, that you have. And you can pinpoint the users that have never logged in or rarely log in, and maybe that user doesn't deserve to have a, a, a dedicated license. Maybe they don't need to be on the platform. Maybe you can actually um, release that license to somebody else. Um, so this is this is a very uh, important feature here, and it definitely helps everyone with the platform because um, a lot of times people leave, and people, you know, administrators may forget to delete them from the uh, Bob J platform. Uh, this is actually going to be very helpful to the administrators to to pinpoint those users and those uh, um, licensing those um, uh, license sessions. All right. Um, to expand on system resources, we can also trend system usage over time. Um, this will help you size your environment and understand your peak usage and how many concurrent licenses you may ever need. Uh, you may you may be surprised at what you find actually when you run these reports. So the session analysis will actually track the system usage over time and pinpoint the peak usage. And at the peak usage, it'll tell you how many sessions did you actually have. So um, the max sessions in this example was 23. And it, ha it just so happened that this person actually had um, 50 CSBLs, and they actually don't need that, that many, right? Because the max session count was 23. So a lot of times, uh, this comes in as a surprise to, to, the, to the user. So uh, it may be a good exercise to do this sizing uh, on your environment uh, going forward. All right. Now that we've seen a demo and reviewed some of the features of the 360 suite, let's recap some of the benefits. Um, basically, uh, the, the point I want to make here is that it's all about e efficiency and saving time. It's also about making sure that we are using the resources effectively and that we are able to document the configuration and metadata of our platform. Um, you definitely will reduce administration time. I can speak that from experience. Um, all the tasks that used to take me hours now take me minutes, even less. Some of the tasks I was able to schedule and they're repeatable processes as opposed to manual processes that I had to do on a regular recurring basis. Um, makes the administration a lot easier, provides thorough documentation, and this is definitely a big plus for, for me and for I'm sure for a lot of uh, Bob J administrators. Um, makes your migration processes uh, a lot more streamlined and automated. So you can see that you can com comparison between the two different environments is one thing. It's also the ability to roll back to uh, a previous version of the documents that that you can take uh, that you can do with the 360 suite. Um, you can focus on more high value added tasks, so you can actually focus on maintaining and uh, making sure that the resources are used correctly and effectively. And you can actually keep control over your deployment easier. Um, I know that if I have a central point of entry to administer all the environments that makes it for a more successful deployment because uh, I actually have my eyes on everything, all, all, all the environments at the same time. So this actually makes it for a really good, effective way to manage my system here. Um, the, the other thing I want to point out while I'm on the slide here is that um, the platform is really, the 360 suite platform is actually very user friendly. Um, it's easy to maintain, it's easy to install, uh, it doesn't have too many uh, components that you need to install and, and configure. It's, it's a very straightforward installation. Uh, the learning curve is relatively small. Um, I was able to, um, with with Christoph's help, um, I was able to install and configure 360 Suite here internally rather quickly, and uh, I'm able to use it now in my everyday life, uh, in my administration tasks. All right. So um, what's next? How can you actually leverage what we discussed here? Um, basically, if you do get 360 Suite, what, what, what's going to happen is you'll simplify the management and maintenance of your SAP BI deployments, um, turn feed maintenance time into productive strategic time, and you'll feel confident that your BI content is backed up, recoverable very easily. If you do need um, a more thorough demonstration, uh, which I'm sure would be a, be a benefit. Uh, or if you would like to try the software, uh, please contact us. We are partners with GB and Smith, and so we're authorized to uh, to conduct uh, 
demonstrations and even sell the product. Um, and I, um, this concludes the, my portion of the presentation, so I'd like to thank everyone for attending. Uh, hopefully this was a useful webinar and you, you found it useful and you learned uh, a lot about 360 Suite. And um, now I'm going to turn this over to Megan to see if we have any questions from the audience. Thank you, Natasha. It was a very insightful presentation. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to go ahead and enter those now. We do see that our first question is, when you delete a user, what happens to the user's personal document? That's a good question. Um, Christoph, do you have uh, any insight on that? Yeah, that's, a, that's actually a good question. Uh, so like you, like you said, uh, Natasha, 360 plus with a backup, not only backup uh, corporate documents, but back backup also everything. The users, personal folders, connections, universes, custom access level, everything. Everything included into the FRS. So when a user is, is deleted, so obviously his personal folder will be deleted as well. If you choose the option to include the personal folder when you do the backup, when you restore the user, you will also restore the personal folder. So everything will be restored like uh, Natasha showed you in uh, five seconds, 10 seconds. Fantastic, thank you, Christoph. If y'all have any more questions, please enter those now. Otherwise, thank you everyone for attending today's webinar, Leveraging 360 Suite to Better Manage and Migrate SAP BI Environment. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.